Hello my wonderful Lone Fox family. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are out there. Now today's video is a little bit of a different one. I have never really done a video on my channel where I have just done little refreshes to a space. I've always done or felt like I've needed to do full on makeovers. You know where there's a complete different before, the entire process, and then a crazy after for you guys. But honestly this weekend I just want to do a mini makeover in my room. I'm not going to be changing out any furniture. I might change you know, like a couple tiny furniture pieces, maybe like a side table or something but nothing too extreme. I really want to make this makeover more of an update just for the upcoming season of fall and winter and just give it a little refresh. Also, a little exciting note is, you guys, I got a new camera. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on the audio and video quality. This is a Canon G7X, same one as my old one, but this is the Mark III. So let me share with you guys kind of the before of my room. A little before tour of my room just so you guys can get an idea of what it currently looks like. This is the current state of my bedroom and it is messy. I kind of have just been, you know, setting things down. I've been working on a bunch of projects lately so I just haven't really picked up or tidied my room so that's a big goal as well but some things that I do love about my room absolutely love the rug this is my favorite rug in the entire world I've never seen a Turkish rug I've liked more than this one I still love all of the furniture in this space so so much but I just want to refresh the decor a bit I might even go in and do a new fresh paint color on the board and batten just to change it up paint is so easy if I don't like it I can always paint it back so I don't exactly know 100% what I am doing to the space but the first thing I want to go do is actually head out to Target I know that the new Studio McGee collection and Hearth and Hand collection dropped at Target and I just want to see what is in that collection see if anything sparks my interest or just sparks like kind of the starting point for this project let's head out let's do a little bit of shopping today and just start getting a new mood and tone for this bedroom space some of you guys were telling me that you like to see my outfit so I'm gonna share it with you this one is a gallery department shirt it's like a really oversized waffle cloth shirt the backside looks like that it says gallery department and then my pants here are from Koss actually and my shoes are just platform docks and believe it or not you guys in this outfit I am probably 6'2 if not close to 6'3", which is crazy. Let's head out to Target. I want to go shopping. I'm excited. I'm at a red light, uh, but I kind of wanted to share with you guys a few things that I'm kind of thinking for the space. As I've been driving, I've been thinking. So a couple things that I want to do. I don't want to change any of the furniture. I love the furniture in my bedroom so much. Other than that, I do want to introduce a quilt to my bed. It is getting so much colder in LA at the moment. I want to do a new plant pot because the current plant pot that I have for my first real or my only real plant in my bedroom was the same one that it came with. And I wanted to give it a little bit more of a home. Some new pillows, maybe some new decor elements. I'm also thinking a new paint color on the board and batten, which I'm kind of leading towards a very dark brown. Those are my thoughts at the moment, you guys. I'm excited though. I think it's just going to be a fun weekend project to work on and I'm almost at Target, so I'll see you guys inside. I've seen these textured jugs that a couple people have posted and they are so beautiful. This is kind of the color I've been loving lately, just this dark warm brown. They also now have the circle vases. These were part of the fall collection guys in my bathroom. A lot of people were talking about how they weren't available. They are now. I think I'm gonna get the taller, no actually the shorter for the top of my dresser. This one is $25. These kind of warm brown colors are the ones I've been loving. Like just this rust and the brown with like a little bit of a red tone and an orangey color in there, but very dark and kind of saturated. I also recently saw this new blanket that they came out, which is so chunky. I love the texture um, and the color so pretty too. It's like a really soft taupe. How great are these little ceramic candles? They come in this size and they also have a little smaller version as well. I also used these in the guest room makeover and I loved them. They're like a beeswax taper, which I've never seen. I only have ever seen like, you know, a white or an ivory. So I love this color. I'm gonna actually grab two of these because I wanna use them in my living room too. I just love the tone of this basket. It's $29. I wasn't planning on getting a new tray, but I've had the same one on top of my dresser for a while. Um, this one, I just like this color so much more. So I think I'm gonna opt for this darker option and just switch it up a bit. I feel like this gives you an overall vibe of the kind of palette I'm going for. Something really moody and dark, but it still has that hint of warmth for fall. These are such great drum side tables too. If you guys need a new side table, I love how it's like, I think it's a faux wood because it's made of ceramic but I love the brown and black. I think it's really chic. It looks like it'd be a great plant pot, so I think this could be an option. It's 40 bucks, a little more than I wanted to spend for a pot for it. This is cute, I think I'm gonna grab it. Hope it fits in here. I like the two-tone though. I like how it's like a little darker down here and a little lighter up here.
so I got some cute things. I'm very excited about them. I just feel like I needed some new stuff. I've done makeovers or like little refreshes with stuff I've already had, but it's stuff I've seen so much and I've already had it and used it that it's never like too exciting, you know? I always just need like one or two new things. So I just picked up a couple new items just to make it feel a bit more fresh and I'm heading to the paint store right now to pick out a paint color. I'll see you at the paint shop. Crown Paint on Pico is my favorite paint shop in Los Angeles, you guys. If you ever need paint, come here. They have Benjamin Moore. People in here are just so nice and helpful. And these are kind of the tones that I'm leaning towards. Definitely more of the darker kind of section down here, maybe even the middle. So as you see, these are green toned browns and these are a little bit more purpley toned browns, which I'm kind of leaning towards this. I feel like this is similar to what I've already had in the past. So I'm kind of exiting those out. I'm not sure. I'm going to stare at them for a little longer. Oh my gosh, the swatch is on the can and I'm scared. It's purple. I've never even been a fan of purple. I'm hoping that it dries more brownie purple. We'll have to see. I'm excited to get painting, honestly. I enjoy painting when it's a little small section. I can kind of see the entire vision come together quickly. So the color I opted for is this one in the middle. It probably looks super dark on screen. It's called Deep Caviar by Benjamin Moore. Overall, it's just a very moody color and I think it's gonna be a great backdrop for my bed. I'm making the bed a little bit lighter than how it currently is. So I wanna deepen up the walls a bit to kind of contrast the bed and then just also uh, they can balance each other out. So the first thing we're gonna do is get to painting. I have to remove all of this stuff, tape up some of the walls, and and we can get started. probably can't tell on camera, but the purple is coming through quite a bit more, and I believe it's just because it's next to green, which is gonna enhance the tone of purple. Um, those are two complementary colors, is that the word? Let's hope it is. Anyways, going through and starting to paint all of the boarding batten with this brand new color called Deep Caviar. Good morning guys, it is bright and early and it is bright in here today. I don't know what it is, but the sun is shining, but the wall's painted and I wanna share it with you. So here is the new wall color, you guys, and I was a bit scared as I was painting it and as it turned nighttime in here, it was so dark, but during the daytime and also at nighttime as well, it is such a beautiful color. I hope that you guys can tell that this is not a black. It's definitely like a purple toned, almost chalky black. If I hold this next to it, which is kind of like a true black, you can kind of see the color a bit better. It's a really great moody color. I love the touch of purple and I think it's great for fall as well. So now what to conquer today? It is basically the rest of the space, but it's so kind of strange for me actually to not be building any furniture. Every single room makeover I've done has been a blank slate to start with, or there's been a couple pieces in there, but I'm always adding building and just, you know, it's a lot more of a time consuming process. So it seems weird to me that I'm doing a mini room makeover in just two days. However, in this one, I painted the wall already, got that done. And today we are really just redecorating. I'm doing new bedding, we're adding new decor on the dresser, restyling some of the chairs. I want to do something to my olive tree, which is also an idea that I had last night. And all around, we're just going to be kind of spicing up the space today, adding in some warm colors and just some really nice fall vibes in here. I'm going to clear out a lot of the stuff I don't want to stay in here um, and then kind of work with a blank slate. So let's start by doing that. <laughs> my bed for this particular kind of little mini makeover. I really wanted to do one of these oversized kind of like coverlet quilts. I got mine in a cane because I want the fluid kind of movement of this messy look. I really like this right now. I feel like I normally wouldn't like something like this, but I feel like the effortless vibe mixed with a more kind of structured upper half of the bed is really fun. And I like that kind of juxtaposition. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with this. I definitely need to add like some chunky throw blanket or something on the end to break up all the white. 
Alrighty, grabbed a few elements for the bed. Now I definitely know I wanna use this purple throw blanket. I have been dying to use this. It's brand new for fall in my shop and I love it so much. And the purple tone, it kind of ties back to the wall, which I love. I also got this at a thrift store a while back. It's a really pretty kind of woven uh, tray. And I think I'm gonna use that styling on the bed as well. And then I also grabbed a collection of pillows here. This is a new one from Target. I got this one at the flea market, if you guys remember. So I might utilize some of those. However, there is a little change I wanna make. There is just way too much white happening here. I wanna go ahead and actually change the sheet here and the pillows there and also the duvet here. But I'm gonna get away with that by just buying one new sheet set. And I'm gonna utilize the fitted sheet here, the pillowcases there. And then also I'm gonna go ahead and just fold over the flat sheet over the top of the duvet just to kind of cover it. But it's still gonna have the look as if it's a coordinating duvet. But I figured I should just head to Target a little bit later and start styling some of the tabletops in here, including the dresser. I have some nightstands, my little side table right there just to see if I need anything else. But I think I probably have way more than enough decor throughout my apartment to just utilize in here. So let's get to styling. Looking back on that clip, I need to give my plant a little cleaning. I try to dust the leaves as good as I can, but I haven't dusted them in a little bit. But always, guys, remember to clean your plant leaves because they do get pretty dusty. Now, I have a Samsung Frame TV, which I love so much because when you're not using it as a TV, you could essentially add artwork to it. And I came across one the other day I loved. It's this one, Villa by the Sea. I love just the moody overall color palette in here, and it kind of matches and coordinates with what I've styled the dresser with. So we're going to opt for that one. See how good that looks on on there you guys it almost just fills in your tv still does give the glare but at least it gives you something kind of visually interesting to look at and adds a bit more of our fall palette to the area for the right nightstand i'm just going to pop this new candle holder on top which i love because i have these really nice beeswax candles which i also got at target and i love this color combo like this kind of honey tone with the black and then i'm going to also pop in just a little brass hammered box from the store cute you can pop in some trinkets or jewelry or whatever you want A lot of the styling is in place. We have the dresser styled. We have the nightstand styled. Now I want to get some fresh flowers actually for my little side table here and potentially also two throw pillows for the chairs because I've been styling them without throw pillows for a long time. But I feel like for fall and winter time, I think it would be nice to add that element of just coziness to the chairs. But an idea that came into my head last night when I was laying in bed kind of brainstorming ideas for the room was actually to paint my olive tree. And some of you guys are like, whoa, whoa, whoa what are you talking about? A while back, I picked up this sea glass spray paint on Amazon. It's in an amber finish. And I kind of thought for fall, I'd be able to utilize this in a project, but I haven't used it just yet. However, I personally think that if this is a sea glass spray paint, it most likely has a bit of a transparency to it. So I was almost thinking of going through and using this spray paint and just almost spraying the tips of my olive tree or just very sporadically, almost to give it the look of changing leaves, which of course I think will enhance our fall vibes. But I also think it'll add just a little bit more definition and liveliness to this tree. And I also feel like I will love this even after fall and winter with kind of those brown tones on them. Okay, I brought it outside. Here she is. We love the olive tree. And I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also excited because this could be a really cool DIY. Now, oopsie. I put it in a pot and hopefully it's a little bit stable. Here is our amber spray paint. Don't really know where to start with this. Okay, let's actually just do a little a test. I don't know if you can see that, but that is exactly the look I was going for. Before it kind of was just a solid green. Now it just has a slight bit of this brownish tone in there, which is so pretty. I'm just gonna go through and kind of just touch the tips of all of the leaves with a little bit of this amber spray paint. You can almost effortlessly just spray it and it's pretty much like just kind of gives a light coat. I'm also gonna go in and on just like the bark areas, just give a little kind of color to the bark in a few areas. It's almost like we're highlighting and contouring our tree, essentially. <laughs>
I am absolutely in love with the way this tree turned out. I just wanted to add a little touch of warmth to this. Just a little bit of fall, kind of giving that changing leaf tone. And I think that this did exactly that. I did a really subtle spray. You can totally add more and do more layers if you want more of that kind of warmth to your leaves. I have hopes that maybe this basket will be the new pot for our plants. But let's go ahead and test it out. I'm just going to literally transfer the whole entire basket. Nope, she won't fit at all. So we're gonna need a new basket. We're back in the car heading to Target, you guys. I just need to get a couple of things. And I know I've been buying a whole bunch in this video. And the reason is, is a lot of times you guys, as you guys know, I DIY a lot or I thrift also as well for my makeovers. But the thing is, is for this makeover, it's super last minute. And also on top of that, I really wanted everything to be accessible for you guys. So if there was something you saw in the video that you wanted, like it was able to be purchased. So I'm gonna link everything, of course. But basically I just need a couple of throw pillows and I need a sheet set. Oh, and a basket for my little plant. I'm trying to drive super slowly so the camera doesn't do that, but I'll catch you guys inside. For sheet options, we have a minimal selection here. Now, I love this kind of terracotta y color, but I'm kind of trying to stray from that. I want to do, potentially do this one. I love the pattern on this. I think that could be really interesting and add a lot of detail, but there's also this color as well, which I do like, kind of similar to the honey, a bit more brown toned. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just get the flat sheet in this version, and I'm going to get the full set in this version and mix and match, and maybe either return this or use parts and pieces from either or. And I feel like they're pretty solid options. All right, so, so much for some real flowers. This is the Trader Joe's selection today. <laughs> I love these options. ended up just leaving the original faux Ikea little floral arrangement that I created. This is just three hydrangeas from Ikea inside of an Ikea little vase. So super affordable um, arrangement there. And I don't know if I love these pillows, which are like these really pretty teddy style pillows, or if I like those other ones from my shop. I'm kind of leaning a bit more towards this. I really thought I was going to be able to finish up the room today and just make this a little weekend project, but I have probably just an hour left in the morning. So not really anything at all. And I did get a late start, honestly, on both of the days. So tomorrow I'm just going to go ahead and style up my little office nook area over here, which currently needs some work. I've just been loving working on this bedroom so far. It has been so fun and I feel like everything's just been seamlessly kind of flowing. I've been loving everything. We had the little sheet dilemma, but I fixed that, which I'm excited for you guys to see in the reveal. And yeah, we're just in a good place. I'll catch you guys in the morning and we can start working on the office nook. Good morning, everybody. It is time to style the office space. This is the last area in my bedroom, which is my little office nook. I love this area and I'm always, always working in here. So I wanna make sure it's still functional, but it has just a little element of fall added, which I think is just gonna tie it back to my bedroom area. I wanna go ahead and keep my storage boxes just because I do utilize those all the time. I have audio equipment in this one, mail in that one, so I can kind of swap out the decor up there. And I actually pulled a couple of pieces. I ended up grabbing this structural kind of sculpture here. I love this ceramic sandy finish of it and I think it's just going to add a bit of movement to the bookshelf and I also grabbed this another kind of unique piece it's a paper mache vase which is so fun I ended up grabbing this plant at Trader Joe's the other day and I put it in a new little pot I thought this was so cute I loved the colors in there I don't know what it is about this fall season but I feel like I have not been gravitating towards like fall icons if that makes sense like icons in the terms of pumpkins acorns you know turkeys, like your traditional fall kind of iconography that is normally kind of printed on fall decor. I haven't been loving that lately. I've kind of been gearing myself more towards fall color palette and trying to create the vibe of fall using colors. However, I have these pumpkins, which are from last year's Hearth and Hand, or not Hearth and Hand, or were they? I don't know. These are from last year's Target release. They're these seeded glass pumpkins, and I kind of want to use them in my bookshelf because they're just so cute, and this just brings the element of fall to the forefront. And 
just like that, you guys, the office is restyled. Super simple. I spent like 15 minutes in here just adding in at these pumpkins up there. I added in this cute plant stand, this wooden spool that I got from the flea market. I also added the paper mache vase and I added a dried stem over the top of it. I think it's really fun to style that way. And then down at the bottom here, I honestly just kept two taper candles. I added in some blue tapers just to kind of coordinate back to the blue in the globe there. And then I added our little plant I got at Trader Joe's. And of course, you guys know I had to keep the ostrich. So I put her right over there on the edge like she's sitting. And I just think this space looks really cute. I think it's a little bit more inviting, has a little bit more of that fall palette, and it's just gonna coordinate back to the bedroom. The makeover is now complete, and I'm sure a lot of you know what time it is. It is time for the reveal. I am so excited to share with you guys my fall bedroom makeover. And this was such a fun makeover for me because first of all, it was my own space. So this is my finished bedroom makeover, and I'm gonna share it with you guys in three, two, one. And that, guys, was my fall bedroom makeover. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I absolutely had a blast making it for you. So if you'd like to see any other fall makeovers throughout my apartment, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm honestly pretty inspired to do the living room and dining room, which is gonna be a video coming very shortly. Fall's definitely my favorite season for many different reasons. I just love the vibes, I love the weather, I love the color palette, I love everything about fall. So whenever fall comes around, it's always a time that I like to change up my apartment. So I hope that this gave you some ideas for your very own space. And if it did, let me know which ones you might be utilizing in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy anything that you saw in today's video, I'll try to link absolutely everything that I use down from the spray paint to the furniture in my space. Everything will be linked in the description box. So I will catch you all in my next video, everybody. Have an amazing rest of your day and happy fall, everyone. I'm so excited that it is fall. So see you in the next one. Bye guys.